my mum is up at Hillsides. Um, she's just recovered from COVID, which was great news for us. Um, you know, and we're taking life day by day, like probably everybody else is. I mean, speaking to our kids, our parents, or in this case, my dad, on his own, uh, our grand grandkids, and taking it day by day, following protocol, and uh, you know, hopefully all this will be over. And rest assured, Gibraltar will party. I'm sure. So we were all very distraught. I mean, not only was it that we couldn't go and see her, which was probably the worst thing, and we hadn't seen her in uh, by the end of the next lockdown, will be two months, that's a very long time. But the fact that she was going through all of this alone and had no one around to comfort her um, from her family was uh, really destroying to us. Um, but more importantly to Adolfo, her husband, he's 87 I think now, um, he's living on his own in Albert Riso's house and um, he's found it particularly difficult. My mum is in Mount Alvernia and with the lockdown it's been extremely hard not to be able to go and visit her. But we are very reassured that she's in good hands and that she's so well looked after. The precautions that have been undertaken to ensure the well-being of the res residents are excellent. We have daily contact via social media and we are given daily reports on his health. We are extremely grateful for the excellent care he is receiving. My Granny Remedio is in the Mount Alvenia and she's been in isolation ever since lockdown. I haven't seen her since the 6th of March. We are, well I do call her daily, but my Granny is uh, quite um, deaf. Fortunately, uh, they now have WhatsApp and we can call her um, and face to face well, or through video call, we can actually get a few words in. The hardest part about this lockdown has been not being able to see our elderly relatives. I have my grandmother and my auntie at Hillside and two aunties at Bishop Ganiya House. We obviously miss them terribly, but we do understand that the measures that have been implemented are for their safety and well-being. Our main concern throughout has been the, the spread of the virus. Um, just two weeks ago, we were informed that some elderly residents at Hillside had tested positive for COVID-19. Uh, COVID uh, we were advised that all the other residents were going to be tested. As you can imagine, the period was very difficult for us. Uh, we, we were scared, sad and quite helpless as there was nothing we could, could do. Fortunately, the results came back and all the other residents tested negative. It's also amazing to hear that those that had tested positive have now uh, fully recovered and that just shows how amazing our health system is.